Greetings everyone, it's Sniper Numitz here again, and this video is in honor of MetaRay. Why MetaRay? If you don't know who MetaRay is, he's a guy on YouTube who recently started regularly producing these comedic little videos. They're short skits, two to three minutes long, but they're really funny. And I know him in person, and I happen to know the camera he's using. And his little camera is this little point and shoot, it's literally only about that big, that happens to have this extra feature where you can record video in. Uh, 640 by 480 which is of the same quality as this webcam and that's really small but the same when you get that small usually the quality is down because the hardware isn't that great and it kind of taught me an important lesson that God's been trying to drive into my head for several months and that is you don't need a really great camera to make a really great story rather you should just work on making a great story and not worry too much about your equipment which leads me to my next point where are all the videos, Precious? Bet you didn't see that coming. But seriously, why haven't I released any videos in months and months and months? The reason is twofold. The first reason is my camera died. Different one, different one. I have an HD camera now. If you didn't notice that Vantage Point and Turkey War 2012 were filmed on full HD, it's because I got a camera for my birthday. It was this awesome little Panasonic, but I found out that they don't take stress too well. I kept it in my backpack because I was filming video for a homeschool co-op in my area, and it would stay in my backpack and it would go all over. And needless to say, in January, it croaked. And now, those of us who have been subscribed to me for long enough will ask, what about the tape camera you started out with? Excellent question! Well, that camera is also broken, but in a different way. So that tape camcorder runs on digital 8 tape, which means that the video stays digital, even though it's still on tape. So a really nice feature about that is you can transfer through FireWire. It's just digital to digital, there's no quality loss. It's really handy. You still have to record it like a normal tape, but it's all digital. So the problem was the FireWire stopped working. I'm not sure if it was the cable, the one and only cable that I have, or the port. One or both is broken. So needless to say, that camera cannot be transferred through FireWire. My only other option was to use the TV output, which would have worked except my capture card is so low quality that it can't handle even that camcorder. And so it was all kind of blurred and smudged instead of uh, sharper. With noise and grain, but sharper. It was all bleh. However, that is not to say that there is no light at the end of this dark tunnel. My HD camera is being fixed by Panasonic right now. I don't know when I'm going to get it back, but I hope to get it back within the very near future and begin making videos as soon as possible. There have also been videos coming out from my friends. I've already mentioned MetaRay. His videos are hilarious. You've got to check them out. There's also Shmook Imagination Studios. They've got at least three videos that I'm aware of that are in various stages of production. I happen to be in two of them. There's also Frog Dunker. He does mostly Let's Plays for games like Super Mario and Zelda. Uh, but he also recently discovered the music creation software FL Studio, and he's uh, been putting in tons of hours on the songs that he's released. So if you check out his channel, you can see his demos, and he's got at least one official release that I know of. And then I've been working on stuff in preparation for videos. I've been working on practicing songs for both drum and bass covers, uh, hopefully to get them down as well as I possibly can before I record them. Uh, when you don't have a camera, be ready to have a camera, I guess. And then I've also recently started adding tabs to the tab sharing website ultimateguitar.com where you can actually share tabs that you've written uh, for your favorite bands, stuff like that. They have something like 800,000 tabs up there, chord sheets, tabs, bass tabs. I've been contributing some bass tabs. As of this video, I have one for DC Talk, uh, one for Audio Adrenaline, and two for Red. And of course, I hope to make more. And so if you're on UG, uh, and you're looking for tabs, just uh, look up the Bass Meister. I've got some good bass tabs up there. So, lots of good stuff happening. Hopefully, I'll get my camera back soon, and I hope to make some really good videos in the near future. I'll hold the kite and